Hi guys, in this video we will see how to draw a pyramid in AutoCAD 2007. So the pyramid will be looking something like this. So there is some base, on that base the triangular faces will be there, will be attached at a single point apex point. So this is how the pyramid looks like. This is an example of pentagonal pyramid. The base can be of any shape, it can be trigonal, it can be uh, square, it can be pentagon, hexagon, whatever it is. So the pyramid will be having triangular faces, whereas the prism will be having uh, either uh, square or uh, rectangular faces. So that is the main difference between the pyramid and uh, prism. We have to be very careful because uh, there is a possibility of confusion in this. So prism is different. It is having cube. Uh, what is that? The faces is a rectangular shape. Whereas in the pyramid, the faces is in triangle shape. You can see here the triangle shape is there. And the top point will be like a uh, apex point will be there. The, all the triangular faces will be meeting at one point. Whereas in prism, whatever the bottom face is there, and the top face will also be the same. So those are the main important things. So let us uh, see how to draw this thing. So say supposingly the question is like draw a pentagonal pyramid of base 30 mm edge and axis 80 mm which is resting with its base on horizontal plane. So since this is on horizontal plane, we will select a top plane and uh, here what we will do is that uh, in the modeling toolbar itself we have an option called a pyramid. So we can select that pyramid here. Once you select the pyramid, uh, the com in the command prompt you can see specify center point of the base or edge or sides it will be something like a polygon option itself so here i want to talk about sides so s enter the number of sides will be depending upon the question because we are drawing a pentagonal pyramid here the sides will be like five so five and enter once this is finished it is again asking specify center point or base something like in the polygon case but I don't want to go with circumscribing or inscribing. So I want to go with giving the edge size. So E enter. E enter. Then specify the first point. Although I am pressing on. And specify the second point. Second point is the edge size that is 30 mm. So therefore I will press 30 and press enter. So this is the. Uh, with this the base is finished. Now it is asking the height also at this point itself. Unlikely in the prism case, we have to extrude it separately. But here, since we have already selected the pyramid, it will automatically ask the height. The height is already given in the question. It is something like 80 here. So I'll press 80 and press enter. That's it. It's finished. The diagram is finished. The pyramid is constructed. If we want, we can see it in the other view. That is, I'll see it in the front view. See, you can see it is created. I'll see in the isometric view, you'll get a, a clear picture. And if I go to the conceptual, you'll get a wonderful picture of it. So within one step, the diagram is finished. This is a pentagonal pyramid with base edge is of 30, right? 30 mm or what the, what the question is? Yes, 30 mm and axis height is of uh, 80 mm. So it is resting with its base on horizontal plane. So therefore, the top view will be looking like this. And the front view will be looking like this. If I want to give the dimensioning, I'll come to the wireframe model. I'll come to the top view. Here I can give the dimensioning of the side edge. So I'll give the side edge like this. Uh, uh, aligned, I have to click. Aligned, I'll select this and this. I'll give the dimensioning. And the axis length can be given in the front view. So I'll select the front view. And I'll select the this point to the bottom point. And I'll drag it like this and show it. In the isometric view, I can arrange the dimensioning if there is any mistake. So here it is coming a little forward. So I am moving it from this position to this position. Therefore, it is finished. The diagram is finished. If I want, I can go to the layout. I can give the annotations. I can give the annotations to it. That is, in this case, it's unlikely in the prism, what we will do is that we will give the apex point as O point and bottom points can be A, B, C, D, E. In that way, I can give the annotations. So that is about the first question, first type of question which can be obtained in a pyramid. So same question can be in separately like if the base is on vertical plane, that is like it is attached to a wall, the base is attached to a wall, then uh, what is the question, what is the format of doing it? So file, new, 
open so here also uh, since the statement is that uh, the base is on vertical plane we have to select the front plane so i'll select the front plane first and after selecting the front plane i'll select the pyramid as usual yes and uh, the question is hexagonal pyramid so 6 40 and 100 so i'll press 6 and press enter then e and enter then first point is this then this one is 40 mm press enter and height is 100 mm so 100 is pressed so z enter e enter so the pyramid is finished here i will give the dimensioning also if i want like this dimensioning can be given and in the front view also the dimensioning can be given like this i can give the dimensioning here also from the bottom point to the center point that is axis length I am giving it then I can go with the view see you can see the view is here so I am moving the dimensioning from this point to this point you can see right so the diagram is finished here also if you want I can see it in the conceptual view for the perfect understanding right so this is with its base resting on the vertical plane so it's very easy right only the thing is that same thing like in the polygon case if you're selecting a polygon what is it asking number of sides and then we can give the number of uh, side uh, we can select the edge and give the side of the edge right in the same way the pyramid when you're selecting there also it'll be having edge and sides option so first we'll select the sides and then we'll select the edge and then we can draw as per our requirement if it is asking the base is in horizontal plane then we'll select top view if the base is in vertical plane, then we'll select front view and draw the diagram. In very rare cases, they'll be asking you, like if they'll, they'll ask you to draw uh, some inclination with the horizontal plane or some inclination with the vertical plane. So let us draw those type of things also within few minutes. It's very simple one step agenda, right? So first I'll go to the news, new option, file, new, open. So let me think that uh, the question is, uh, inclined it 45 degrees to horizontal plane so I am thinking that uh, it is uh, resting with its base on horizontal plane that means I am selecting top view and I am selecting pyramid and uh, number of sides is uh, square right so number of sides is 4 yes enter 4 enter then uh, I don't want center point I want edge so E enter this is the first edge point then R I am pressing it then this is 20 mm and press enter when it is asking height, the height is, uh, oh sorry, edge is 35. So I have done a mistake. Escape. So I'll select pyramid. We'll select pyramid. So yes, enter, 4, enter. Then uh, E, enter. First point is this and second point is 35 mm, right? So 35 and enter. And height is 100 mm. So height is 100 mm. Uh, I'm pressing this specific height 100 and so the diagram is finished that is the pyramid is finished the square pyramid with base as 35 mm edge and uh, height as uh, 100 mm is finished you can see it in the southwest estimate so now let me come to the top view here where is the axis exactly the at the meeting point here we'll have a straight line which is going inside so if you are talking about axis it will be exactly at this point so here we can't give inclination come to the front view here somewhere at this point the inclination will be there so what I can do I can draw a straight line here and I can incline it right or else I can select this and I can incline it so I'll select this and I'll give the inclination 45 degrees here it's also select it at this point I'll rotate it with 45 degrees so this is with 45 degrees so whatever the inclination is there here that one will be 45 degrees so 45 degrees inclination is finished so this is how it will look it in the isometric view you can see the conceptual view like this so this is how it will be looking like in the conceptual view so that is about the third question and then last and finally there can be an inclination with the vertical plane so when there is inclination with the vertical plane that one also we'll see and finish this video so draw a pentagonal pyramid so i'll select a new new file file new sheet open uh, I'll go to the front view here because because uh, 
it is inclined with 30 degrees to vertical plane so let me think that it is resting with its base on the vertical plane first so i'll select the front view and i'll select the pyramid and uh, yes enter uh, the question is what pentagonal pyramid 2575 so pentagonal pyramid so type enter and e enter press first point and second point is 25 so 25 enter and height is 75 enter so z enter e enter with this the pyramid is construction is finished so it will be like this but there is some inclination that is 30 degrees inclined to the vp that is axis is 30 degrees inclined to vp so let me see in the front view is there a possibility of visible uh, uh, seeing the axis no it is exactly at this point it is not visible to us so i'll go to the top view so here there is this thing so i'll select this i'll select this object and use enter and i'll rotate it with how much angle as per the given question it is 30 degrees so 30 degrees i'll rotate so now you can see there is 30 degrees inclination which is rotated that axis is rotated with 30 degrees with the vertical plane so if you if you're talking about isometric view it will be looking something like this in the conceptual view it will be something like this so inclinations can be given in this way when it is uh, inclined with horizontal plane then we'll be drawing thinking that it is on vertical plane and then change the inclination in the diagram uh, if it is uh, inclined at uh, some degrees to vertical plane then what we'll do is that we'll draw the diagram thinking that it is on the vertical plane and then add the inclination in the top view that is how the connection will be done so this is how we'll draw the uh, pyramids by using AutoCAD 2007. Bye.